Hello everyone. Uh, so as promised, here is the video on the character modeling in 3ds Max. Okay, so uh, this is going to be uh, part one of a lot of parts. I don't know how uh, many parts of this video there will be. Okay, so uh, this very first video, uh, part one, will be about setting up reference images and then also how to get started with character modeling. Okay, and then as the videos progress, we'll go into um, the rest of the character, modeling the uh, body, arms, etc, etc and then we'll also go into rigging and then also into animation okay so let's get started so the very first thing that we need to do is we need to set up the reference images so in project one for 3d studies you guys sketched out your uh, characters your front view your side view and your back view okay so let me show you how you can import those reference images into 3ds max so the very first thing that i'm going to do is uh, in my perspective view i'll just hit alt w to make that bigger and I will hit F to go to my front view okay then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go and drag out a plane okay so just dragging out a plane just like that so um, the size that I'm gonna make this plane uh, mine will be different from yours okay so what I'm gonna be doing with this plane is the length I'm gonna set that to 90 and the width I'm also going to set to 90 okay so what uh, what you will be doing for your character uh, uh, for your plane your reference views you will just go uh, into your uh, the, the reference images that you have I only have a front view and a side view okay so these reference images that I'm using uh, I'm not going to supply you with these reference images okay because I want what I want you guys to um, to get from this training course is how to model characters okay so this is going to force you to take uh, this training that you're receiving from me now and using your own uh, common sense basically uh, to take what you've learned from here and take it into your own uh, 3d models okay so I'm not going to be supplying this with you so you can watch this video tutorial that I'm making for you and then follow along with your own uh, sketches you made for project one okay so all you need to do is just select your carry your reference views okay you right click and just go to properties and you just get the width and the height okay so you go to uh, properties and you go to your details and then you get your width and your height and that value that you have over there you will just type in over here okay um, then what I'm gonna do is as you guys can see my edged faces is turned on if yours is not turned on hit f4 okay that'll turn it on okay so I have these segments so when it comes to reference images I don't really want any of these segments in here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take my length and my width segments down to one each so now that I have that I will go and change the color to black and I'm going to hit W on my keyboard just to bring up my uh, select and move tool and I'm just going to at the bottom over here I'm going to kind of zero out these values so my X I'm going to zero that out so it's exactly in the center and my Z axis are also zero out but the Z axis I'm going to move up anyway well that's the Y axis actually yeah uh, so well after you've zeroed out these values in your Y axis just go ahead and just drag that up just in your Y axis and we'll put it on this line over here Okay, so I'm gonna put that exactly on that line. Okay, if this grid is bothering you, just hit G, and that will get rid of the grid. Okay, uh, so once I have that, all I need to do is now go ahead and import my reference image and just basically add it as a texture or material onto this plane. So what you need to do is you go up to your material editor. Okay, so I'm gonna use the slate material editor okay so as you can see I have already set up these um, reference images uh, for this model so I'm just gonna go ahead and just delete them just to just show you how, how I did that so in your standard materials you just go to where it says standard and you just click and drag that out okay then I'm going to double click this material ball over here just so I can get a, a bigger 
view of uh, what my material will look like and then I will just double click this panel again okay so all of these options become available okay so what I'm gonna do next to the fuse we have this little box that says none if, I, if you hover over that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on none and then go to bitmap and I'm just going to navigate to where I've saved this document okay so there's my front reference image I'm gonna go ahead and click open now you can see there's my front reference image okay so I'm gonna go and drag out another standard material and I'm going to apply the side view so for this particular character I only have two views okay so in your project you did in project one your sketch you had to do uh, three views your front view your side view and your back view okay so you obviously you do that the exact same way that I'm doing now okay uh, except you will have three views next to the fuse bitmap and I'll choose the side view and there we go so then the next thing that you want to do is just go ahead and click but double click back on this uh, first reference uh, this first material that you made which is the front view so with that selected and also with your plane selected you go and assign material to selection so you click on this button over here assign material to selection okay then you can see it has been applied but it's not showing then the only thing you need to do is click on this button over here which says show shaded material in viewport so I'll select that and there we go there is my front view simple as that so I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize this quickly and hit P on my keyboard to go back to my perspective view okay so what I want to do now is I'm going to just put in the side view okay so instead of me going and dragging another plane what I could do is just duplicate this one and just apply a different material okay so this is also why it's important so uh, what you guys will have to make sure of with your reference images is make sure that they are the same height they might not, not necessarily be the same width your your, your views okay? especially the side view uh, but just make sure that they are the exact same height so for example when you handed in project one okay, you needed to either take a photo of your uh, sketches or you need to scan them in so all you do in Photoshop is you can just drag the PDF into Photoshop or JPEG whatever you have just drag that into Photoshop and then just crop out the uh, individual parts and the parts and then just save them out as different images okay uh, but then when you crop them just make sure you only cropped uh, you only crop the width do not crop the height okay because they need to be the exact same height okay so what I'm gonna do is with this selected I'll hit E on my keyboard to bring up my rotation tool okay then what I'm gonna do in this view over here which is my Z view okay I'm going to turn on my angle snap toggle and make sure that is uh, enabled and then what I'll do is I will hit shift and I'm going to click and drag to the left okay and I'll rotate that 90 degrees Okay. Then I'm going to get this clone options. I will make this a copy and click OK. Okay. So now you can see I have my views imported. Okay. So if I was to zoom in here, this woman is very sad. And if I was to change my views, now she's evil. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just select the side view that I just dragged out and hit M on my keyboard just to bring up my material editor I will select this material over here and assign that to selection and show shared material in viewport okay and now I'll just go back to my move tool and I'll select my side view and just in the X axis I will go and drag that out select my front view and the y-axis I will push that back okay so one thing that you need to make sure of is when you imported your views you need to make sure this front view is obviously looking at us okay? it's looking forward and the side view is also 
looking um, forward okay so this is why I said when you um, duplicate this plane that you made for your side view okay you need to hold shift and drag it to the left okay let me quickly show you what will happen if I hold down shift and drag it to the right 90 degrees Okay, I'm just going to move this out of the way and just apply the side material as well. Okay, then take a look what happens. Is she's now pointing to the back. Okay, because that's not what you want. Okay, so select it, E, your rotate tool, shift and drag to the left. Okay, and then you should get that. So if your character, uh, if you are dragging it to the left and your character is facing the other way, then obviously just redo that and just um, drag it to the right okay so now that we have this I need to go and just do a few things to this so for example if I was to rotate around I can still see the views on the back side okay so once I have a complete character over here this might be a little bit difficult to actually if I want to rotate around to actually see see my character so easy fix what I'm gonna do highlight both of these uh, reference images I will right click and go to object properties so in object properties I wanna go click on back face curl so click that then while I'm in here I will also go and freeze the selection so I can't move them by accident so I'm gonna click on freeze and then also show frozen in gray I wanna deselect that otherwise once you freeze it you will just have gray uh, reference images and you can't see your um, your character okay and I'll click OK so now I can't select these reference images so I can't move them by accident and now if I rotate around I can actually see through them okay and uh, then that's basically it. that's setting up reference images so one more thing that you need to uh, keep in mind is not every image will come out perfect. If I was to go to my front view quickly and I zoom in, okay, I'm zooming in quite far and I can see that this is um, I can this is really high quality. I can see what's going on here. Okay, so this might not be the case with your character. Okay, so what you can do is in your viewport settings, there's uh, top left, there's a little plus icon. I'll click there and go to viewport. Uh, or configure uh, viewport configuration then this little dialog box will pop up then the only thing you need to do is go to where it says display performance okay as you can see my texture maps is already set to 4048 I think yours by default should be um, 1024 so if I was to set that back to 1024 I'll click apply and now uh, click OK and I'll zoom in I can see how this is losing quality okay so if this is the case with you just go to your go away go to your uh, configure viewports and change your texture maps in your display performance to 4048 apply and I'll click OK and now you can see this is uh, a lot better quality okay and that's it I'll just save that and that's it that's setting up reference images so now we can start modeling okay so I'm gonna end the video here uh, like I said I'm going to do a few different parts uh, to this video so this first one is just reference images and then the next one will be the actual head of the character and we'll go on from that okay